What is up guys, it's Fluida Guys here with the Oil Rig Part 3. And hopefully this will be the final part. So stay tuned for the full episode for the awesome completed product. Well, since the last one I've made a few minor changes. Like, I added these corners. So just half wooden slabs in every corner. Delete that sign. And let's do that to every side. Down the bottom here as well as up the top and I might do it here as well but that's not done yet and I added some fences all around the well in every middle spot like that and two on the corners such as that so you just copy that and I've already done that on every other side that was just to remind me that I have to talk about it and what else ah yes fix the blocks on this side so three from the middle is wood and the middle one is stone so I switched that on every side because it looks much better like this whoops and just leave two I think it was two stone upstairs on every corner and let me just check to see if it's the same now yep if you've done all that, then oh, you were almost caught up. Wood blocks inside. So as you can see here, I've put some how many? Five wooden blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Like so, just in the corner. Oh, and if you're listening, the song in the background is my awesome new epic dance track. So you should check out my music channel to have a well. If you want to listen to it louder. And I don't know, dance to it, because it is a dance track. Anyway, that is pretty much it. Then you would have caught up. Oh, and I added these iron bars to most of the windows. But you can also change that to glass, or leave them open if you want. Either way. Okay, now to finish the roof. Okay, first, I did another, like, a dip as you can see there, just like the bottom. So that's at the top. So to do that, you want to come out one from that middle stone block. That's actually is there. Go out three and come up one on each side. And then you want to come up, well, stick two full blocks there, just for temporary measures, and stick two half slabs up there. Excuse me one sec. Okay, now just copy that on every side like this and you want to add stairs on every corner like that with a full block in the middle. I'll do that on this side so you can see. There, that's done. So once you've done that on every side, you want to get a a uh, stone brick slab and that's wrong so I'll change that to a slab to stick it there behind that stair but first you should actually place the stairs because I didn't realize that I haven't showed you that yet so stone stairs and a half slab behind it like so okay hang on what's that wood does that look better wood well, you can either make it stone or wood. I might just change them to wood to mix it up. Hmm, yeah. And I shall add the wooden half slabs to the other corners. There we go. Okay. Now, it's getting hard to work out how to finish this. Okay. So from that stone slab you did over here, you want to get wooden half slabs, put one above it, and then just go all around the outside. Just uh, right next to that dippy sort of thing you made. So go around, and what is that? That's wrong, I'll change that. Hmm. Why is that a full block? I see. Okay, 
So you want wooden full blocks next. And just go around the... Ooh, how do I explain this? Just under that wooden slab she just did. So do that all around every side. Okay, and now glass. Put... Uh, go around the outside again with glass this time. Just for a bit of light and maybe a vertical window. And then get some more wooden half slabs and go up one space and fill it in again. Okay, now for a bit of colour change you want to copy this stone central bit. So get a full stone block, stick it in the middle and make a plus shape with a hole. And that's the glass inside that. And maybe a fence on top. Okay, then get your stone half slabs and just join them up to that bit. Should be easy to follow there. Damn it. I hate making mistakes. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Oh, that's a full block. Okay, now this side. And there we go. That's the roof. Almost done. I missed this. Um, might stick stone half slabs. Oh no, wood. I did that earlier and it looks better. If you want, you can stick a flag, but it doesn't really suit an oil rig. But if you really want to, go ahead. Okay, now, uh, how do I get inside? <laughs> I should do that. Inside, crane things next. If you want three, so I get some more stone bricks, I might add the last crane right here. And I'll delete that so I can get out after I do this. Start there and just do the uh, stair blocks upside down and then opposite. There we go, just doesn't have to be any certain number. I'd say that looks good. One more, and then a full stone brick on top of that. And fence going down, just like the others. Four, five. Yeah, five's good. Oh yeah, I changed this to quartz because it looks better. So you should just change them. You can also have the claw this way if you want. I might just mix it up a little. Get some variety up on this. Cool. Now, inside. Let's go to that hole I made inside the wall, which is there. Okay, now we need a place that we can actually enter. Because I am not breaking more holes just to get in. Oh wait, I changed up the base design of the crane first. So it's a full block that when it connects to the land. So, there. Just a bit, looks a bit more stable and rounds off the outside. Okay, now, let's make a entry point. Where should we do this? Right here. You can pick any corner again, doesn't have to be this side, but it would help because there's no crane thingy on this side. So get some, um, delete that too. I'll get some stone bricks, delete them, come out to, and come out and go down like st a staircase. That's annoying, that should be a brick so I can make the stair the correct way, like that. Actually, I might have it one thickness. Or two. Okay, so add this block there. And I need some half slabs of stone. Where are they? There. And I'll bring this out a bit. more. 
then you just get some half slabs and you can join up whichever ones you like. So this could be, I don't know, a boat docking port. And I'll just bring this out a bit, little more. So the boats go in there and then the crane loads them. I'll bring this across to the stairs again. There we go. You can do one of these thingies on any other dock ports you like, like this one. Or you can have it just on one. I'm going to delete these full box as well. And I'm just making this up as I go, but it still looks cool. Now, if you want, you can also add some either fence posts around the outside, which on the points which don't have access to the floors, which would make sense because why would you need it? And fill this in a bit more. There we go. And then add some fences on this side too. I'm not going to do the corners, just the main blocks. So you can sort of still get off and get back on, what well, you can't get back on, which I should fix. So you want to get a ladder now, and just pick any side you like. I might go here, and stick a full stone block. Where do I have one of them? Of course it's nowhere needed when I need it. And then replace one of them, or both of them, with a step ladder. So you can get out of the water. Cool. Although it would help if that was flush, but oh well. Can't fix that. And I'll make this just thinner. And add some iron bars to the outside. Like a railing sort of thing. So I'm gonna go down one here, across, down. Pretty much just stick them on the sides of the stairs. And then go across the tab. Then stick some fences on the sides of the blocks. Pull that out a bit more. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm going to make this a little neater and put some stairs on the underside. Although, those ladders, I mean, they're mine bars. Don't look too good with the fences, so. I'll switch that back over. Yeah, that's cool. Now you have an entry point, but no stairs to the next level. So you want to pick a side. I might go this one. Get some wooden stairs. And just bring it up. It's pretty self-explanatory. Ah. So you can stick a stair on and then replace the block. Cool. Although it doesn't look very even. So I'll move that over one more. And then go up. That's so annoying. <laughs> okay. Now that should be even three and three. Perfect. You can have two staircases if you want, but that looks good. Now I'm going to have glass blocks in the middle, going around the inside, just like the top. That doesn't look too good, so that's going to be fixed up later. 
Okay, and then just some more wooden slabs. Except the middle. Which you can... Hmm. Oak slab. No, oak full block. Yes. And then some prints. And then another full block. And fence. And full block. All the way to the top. Yep. Cool. So, you want some torches and just stick them on the sides of that. At the top. Two should do it. Well, that one won't work, so I'll stick it on this one. That's the pretty much the pump thing. It's kind of cool from here. So, oh yes, stairs on the other side of this. I always do that. Makes it look neater. And I'm going to have a half stone slab on that, so it's easier to get up. And it's copied on the other side, so it's even. Ooh. Okay, I'll do it on these two. Although it may ruin the nice curvy aspect on the sides. Let's take a look. Yeah, just a bit. You don't have to do that bit. Okay, and... Up here. That looks nice. If you want, you can have an enchantment table. That would fit pretty well. Table goes in the middle there. And then bookcases go all around that side. Yeah. Could make a little compact house. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot something earlier. You want to have stone brick slabs like this connected into the middle on every side. Except the one with the stairs, of course. And I'll just do that into the middle fully. Nice. Okay, now to fix this roof, we want oak wood stairs. Just go around the middle. And that should neaten up. Neaten it up a bit. Ooh, glass there. I like that. And a bit more sunlight as well. Okay, now, that's kind of interesting. Except you can't get in or out, so it's good. There we go, you can have a nice view on whichever side you want to make your bed on. And I might do another video later on about furnishing this place. Because it may be a little tricky because it's tight and compact. But good if you want a nice small house on the ocean, because some of the oceans are massive. Okay, so that's done. I like this. Well, that's pretty much it. Of course, you can neaten up a few things. If I had more time, I would do that. I probably would change these fences and iron bars. If I get time in another video, I'll just quickly fly over, because this is where all my buildings will be. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want another tutorial on anything, pretty much, then just leave a comment. I know JGP wanted like a compact sort of house with enchantment table, brewery, bleh, brewery. I can't say that. God, that's hard to say. Don't laugh. <laughs> okay, and yeah, pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching and sub for more videos, guys. Catch it. What's up guys, it's me again. I'm back with just a quick showing you around of what I changed. So I made these railings out of iron bars all the way down, made them a little more flush, they look better now. And I brought that down to oak wooden, I don't know, planks that make good dock corners, so I use them. And then I joined some of them with fence posts, whoops. And I extended the dock to this one as well. So it looks good, and I added some more ladders, 
on sides so you can get up a bit easier if say you got to one side and didn't want to swim around anyway that's it thanks for watching again sub for more